R-E-S-P-C-T, you know what it means to me. I've been watching Zola's vlogs and this morning uh, she was singing that song and now it's stuck in my head. Besides that, I have another book haul for you guys. Also, don't mind my terrible singing, um, and I'm still sick, so I still have a really, really um, nasally sort of voice. But, um, this month, I only plan to buy four books, one of which is going to be released next month. Um, safe to say I failed. I bought, not that, not my, um, I, didn't go, I didn't go berserk, but I still surpassed the limit that I put on myself. Um, but I'll show you guys the three books that I um, originally planned on getting first. The first book that I have is one that I um, did a sort of sneak peek video on my Instagram about. Um, if you guys are following me on Instagram, um, I do do a few book like related posts. I try to do them often. Um, my name is this. <laughs> if you guys are interested. But I did a little sneak peek of me unboxing it, and it is a face of a face like glass by Frances Hardinger. Harding, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, but this is sort of like a modern day fairy tale, where, um, or based on the look of it, where um, everybody has sort of like a blank slate, and then they get their facial expressions carved onto them, and it sounds really sort of creepy, um, really mysterious, uh, because a girl comes in and she, her face is really hard to like sort of tell I guess, um, like she has no memory of who she is and she has to wear a mask all the time because her face shows every single emotion that she feels, um, and it sounds like a really interesting read, I didn't realise it was going to be this thick, but it's always been on my, um, to buy list so I figured I'd get it this month. Next is Pivot Point by Casey West, and this is the first book in a series, I think there's two, I think it's only like um, a duology, so there's only two books, and the second book is already out, um, essentially the girl lives in this sort of like camp, and they have like different, um, I guess, mental abilities, um, but her one day her dad decides to leave, so her dad decides to leave, and she has to um, figure out if she wants to stay with her mum in this compound where she has all her friends, her life has always just known, she's always known just that place, I, you know, comfort, familiar, familiarity, or she wants to move out into the real world with her dad and sort of mingle with the normal people that don't have abilities. Um, I'm the type of person to buy the first book only, read it and then assess as to whether I want to buy the second book, so I only got the first book. I've heard a lot of good things about it though, so I hope I don't get disappointed. Well, the third book that I was planning to buy for this month is Zarina by J. Neil Patrick, which is the alias name for the author Jackson Pierce. Um, this is a historical fiction based on the story of the Fabergé egg. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. I shall leave like its name here or something like that. Um, so it's like, you know, one of those eggs that were made in Russia for the um, royal family and they're very valuable. I read it all out on Wikipedia, very reliable, but, um, because I had no idea what he was. And it follows the story of a girl named N Natalia who is in love with Alexei Romanov, who is the son of Nicholas the Tsar. Um, and so they're, they're both in love and then, um, Alexei shows... Natalia, the family secret, and it is the egg, and essentially the story revolves around, um, you know, discovering the egg, and then the reds overtaking the whites, and just during that sort of like era where um, Lenin becomes powerful, I don't think it's historically accurate in the fact that there's like a lot of magical stuff in there, I have finished it, um, and the, my review for it is already up, so I'll leave a link to it down below, or you can click the book here. But it was a very beautiful read. Um, it was, like, sort of like a beautifully poetic sort of read, and it was just amazing. So, yeah. And that was published this month as well. This No, last month. That was published mm, probably a few days at the end of last month. And now I shall show you guys the books that I unintentionally bought during this month um, just because I felt like I wanted to buy them. I can never say no to books. 
First up, I went to the sort of like $5 bookstore that we have around here, and I ended up getting two books, um, both that I'm very happy about. And the first one is Guilt by Catherine Longshore, and this is historical fiction based on the um, story of Catherine Howard, who is the one, two, Catherine, Irene, and Jane. And who is the sixth, no, fifth, who is the fifth wife of King Henry VIII. Um, and this is through the eyes of a fictional character who is best friends with Catherine Howard. And you see the inner, inner working of the courts, um, what happens to Catherine Howard, how she reacts with King Henry VIII, and yada yada yada. I only just finished The Bolin Inheritance by Philippa Gregory, um, and that had Catherine Howard in, in it as well. So I'm really intrigued to see, um, you know, what the story, well, what Catherine Longshaw is, how, how she's going to portray the uh, Catherine Howard, my nose. And, um, April Brooks on Goodreads gave this a really high rating because she said it was really amazing. Um, so I'm very excited to check this out. And then I got The Pimp by Giorgio Folletti and this is the most exciting buy I have ever made because Giorgio Folletti is amazing. He's one of my favourite authors. Um, and I can't believe I got it for eight bucks. That's crazy. This is his latest novel that has been translated because he writes in Italian. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I just everything about him is uh, simply amazing. I don't even know the synopsis of this, and I still got it because I trust that his writing is going to be fantastic for me to read. And then I got Splintered um, by A. G. Howard, which is sort of like a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Um, and the cover is amazing. I don't think you can say no to the cover. And I got this 40% off, so it's like nine bucks. You know, that's. And the writing is purple, if you can see. I am excited. The second book is out already. They didn't have it, so I didn't get it. But I would have bought it as well because I've seen the cover for the second book and it's very, very beautiful. And lastly, I got um, a new release for this month and it is Side Effects My Very. By Julie Murphy and I've seen a lot of booktubers haul this um, I think they've got sent like art copies and stuff like that and it is about a girl who is suffering cancer and she's about to die so she starts to tell people what she thinks about them you know do all these confessions of the people around her um, what they've done to her how you know what she thinks about them and then she learns that she into she's going to remission and that she's going to live um, so she has to deal with all the consequences of basically, you know, spilling out all these thoughts that she um, has kept hidden. It's, I'm very intrigued as to how this is going to work out because it's sort of like um, the other side of cancer, I guess. You know, um, the part where you're like, well, you can YOLO, but at the same time, there are things that you should um, try to keep to yourself. And then I have a couple of books that I got given this month. Um, I actually have a Christmas present <laughs> that I only got given last month actually uh, because I met up with uh, my friend Charlene then and she gave me The Tale of Despero Despero Desperal? I have no idea how to pronounce that um, by Kate de Camillo and this is, sort of, this is a story about a little rat and I guess he's like you know, this brave little rat that goes on an adventure. Um, I am very excited to read this because she says that it's one of her favourite novels, so, or her favourite books. Um, and there's this really little, like, cute little illustrations in there um, that are in black and white, if you can see that. Um, and I think it's just going to be a short, easy read, and probably something that has a lot of meaning to it. And then my cousins were clearing their bookshelf and um, they decided to give me a couple of their books. The first one is Bone Song by John Mer Meany. John Meany? Um, and this is actually a book that I found on his bookshelf and I wanted to read. So I was going to borrow it of him but he ended up giving it to me anyways. I think it's a um, sort of crime thriller. I don't really know much about it but it looks cool enough. And the next two I don't know the synopsis about either, uh, he just gave them to me and I was like, okay. <laughs> and it is No Present Like Time by Steph Swainston and The Kingdom Beyond the Waves by Stephen Hunt. Um, this is really thick. I don't even know if I'm going to churn through all of these. 
And lastly, I got given the host by Stephanie Meyer, and um, this is going to, I'm going to talk about this in my wrap up, but I have done a written review for it and I absolutely loved it. Um, it's, I'm so excited that I actually have a copy for myself now because it's way better than the Twilight series. Um, I think I spoke about it in my Twilight wrap up, actually. Um, I'll leave a link to that down below. <laughs> But, yeah, yay! I think that's all the books that I accumulated this month. Um, I'm glad that I didn't go overboard. I am trying to tame my book buying, um, and it's sort of working, I guess. If you guys want to see any reviews for these books, um, then leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I shall see you guys next time. Bye!